If you are really into RGB builds and any type of typical memory with frosted light bar, just the light bar, it's not enough to satisfy you, then maybe this one, the Spectrix D60G from Adata XPG, is probably something you can look for. Starting off with the design, the Spectrix D60G is unlike any kits I've seen before. Almost the entire kit itself is covered in uh, what I usually call frosted light bar thick material for this. So from the look itself, you can pretty much expect that this whole thing is going to light up when you plug it into your system. For the light things, I'm not going to talk too much about it because it's going to be compatible with most of the software from the major motherboard brands. So if you want to sync these light things with your other components in your system, you can just, you know, go with the software and tweak it to your hard contents. As for the height, uh, the kit itself is not really a low profile design. So certain CPU coolers might have issue with the clearance, but for most of you who are already using AIO cooling, it won't really affect the overall experience because the block itself is not blocking anything for the memory. So now the Spectrix D60G here does come with different type of specification but this one we have here is very particular because it's one of the nicely bin kits you can find with probably hand-picked chips to make this kit possible and this kit has a rating of 3600 for its speed and timings of CL14, 15, 15, 35. So that's something you won't be getting on you know most of the kits you'll find out there because for the speed of you know DDR4 3600 you'll mostly end up with CL16 or probably CL18 in some case. So this thing's gonna be a lot more costly than those you'll find in the market. Since this kit itself is a very niche product for those who are really into you know, tweaking their system, playing on with memory overclocking, so this might not be you know, the kit for everyone because of its price. But before we say anything about it, let's look at what can we achieve with this kit. So you have seen what this kit here is capable of. Well, I would say the same thing again. This is not for most of you out there who doesn't really want to, you know, trouble yourself with all the settings for your memory. As for those of you who are really, you know, into memory overclocking, wants the best timings, tightest timing, or extra performance for your system, maybe during benchmarks. Yes, this is one of the very nice kit you can find in the market. Well, at an extra cost, of course, because it's gonna cost almost twice the price of what you'll get for the CL16 or CL18 kits out there which uses probably different type of memory chip because this kit itself, as from what we have tested and, you know, taken apart, we can tell you that this kit, the Spectrix D60G, CL14 kit here, is using Samsung BDI chip and it's very well picked one because of you know the speed we can achieve from the benchmark you've seen just now and if you are one of those who are just getting started with you know memory overclocking or other type of overclocking and wanted to get decent kit like this for yourself well this is your thing but do note that the components that we're using for our benchmark which we've shown earlier just now it's very particular one because you can't just achieve uh, those kind of result with entry-level motherboards because of various type of limitation in the power design and how the memory trace is being designed as well on the motherboard itself. So for our case, 
I mean, if you're using, you know, the higher end X570 motherboards or Z490, yes, you can get away with pretty high speed and tight timings with this kit here. And for our case, we are actually using this, the ROG Strix B550 iGaming for most of the tests we've been doing with the kit right here. And we are actually doing the same test with uh, you know, the X570 got light from MSI, but because of the older BIOS we are using during the time, we didn't manage to get a similar result as what we've achieved on this one. But nevertheless, if you're using it for maybe just DDR4 4000, you still can get away with pretty decent timing of CL16 maybe or 18 depends on how you tweak your system and the type of effort you put into tweaking the settings and everything. As for the price, well, this thing is gonna cost you around 850 or maybe more, depends on the shop you're getting it from. If you're not that picky and doesn't really, you know, want to trouble yourself with all the settings tweaking, then you might be able to, you know, get away with a cheaper price for you know the CL16 or CL18 kits which is not as pricier as this. So for me personally, I think that this kit performs fantastically well. But my only concern is uh, <laughs> the design of the heatsink. I don't even know should I call it a heatsink because uh, after taking this apart, I realized that there's no you know metal parts that is in contact with the chip itself. So this thing's gonna get pretty warm if you're going with a very high speed and of course pumping a lot more voltage into this thing. And other than that, well, I'm pretty satisfied with what the kit is capable of. And again, this is definitely for the niche market, especially those who are into overclocking. So that's pretty much it for this video. Do let us know what you think about the Spectrix D60G from XPG. Will you get this kit, the more expensive CL14 kit, or will you rather go for the wallet friendlier kit, which will cost you half the price of this, maybe? And let us know in the comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.